check it is. It's Mama Sada Wright from Short Attention Span Theater. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be talking about stuff in the kitchen. Things that we pull from the kitchen for the studio. So you can see over here, it looks like I'm making a cake, but I'm not. Have you ever looked in your pickle and thought, oh my God, what's growing in here? Well, then it's time to do something about it, kids. Mama Sada Wright has an idea. She's been using it for a long time. We use a Melita. You put a Melita filter in here, you put it over a glass jar, not under the floor, and you drain out all the crap. You can also use a funnel. It works for me. The spray bottle I took from under my counter in the kitchen. I was like, what the hell is this doing in here? I got a use for this. I fill it with water and I use it to spray down this charcoal block so I'm not making barbecue in here while I'm sleeping or something. And then this thing lasts forever as long as I quench it. A couple of other things that I took out of my kitchen because let's be honest, neither you nor me are making creme brulee. We've got the torches. It sounded like a good idea at the time. We're not going to use them. But in the studio, this is fabulous. I use it all the time when I'm too freaking lazy to turn on my torch. You know, all those dials and stuff. Anyway, I use this a lot for most of the work. If I've got little stuff like a stone setting or maybe even a jump ring, I use the little one. This fills up from a canister. It's really easy. But you can get these at the restaurant supply store. Get a whole case of them. You're going to go through them eventually, especially if it's the only torch you're using. A lot safer than the acetylene. The only problem is these are a little top heavy. If you can, you should probably get a base. Mama probably should listen to her own advice. <laughs> if you're just starting out in jewelry making, don't buy yourself a professional jeweler's pickle pot. These crock pots work great. They end up looking like crap no matter what they are. The acid gets everywhere. It's terrible. Just don't buy one with any metal in it, especially if it's got a metal insert. You know, you're not making lasagna in these things. You're probably not even using the one you've already got. Why not bring that in the studio? But don't ever bring it back in the kitchen. These things are cheap because nobody uses them. You can find them at a secondhand store for 10 bucks, 5 bucks, maybe even less. Pick one up today. You'll have a good time. Also, I also have another one I'm going to show you in a minute. I think I spent 5 on that. So I hear you saying, Mama, how many crock pots does one jeweler need? Well, if you're this jeweler, you need three, maybe four. This one I use when I'm doing enameling. Do a torch enameling. You stick your little enamel pieces way down inside that vermiculite, and it cools down really slow. Those little cat food cans in there, bless her little heart. I put the small stuff so I don't have to go hunting for four to five hours to get the stuff out. It was a good move on my part. The other use for a crock pot is when you're doing patinas. When I do patinas, I like to heat up the metal and dip it in the liver of sulfur. I have more control. It slowly changes color over time. But I don't want to go into that here. So Mama says, thank you so much for coming to my studio today. It gets lonely here. I don't have anyone to talk to except for the cat. And she's pretty dull, to be honest. So you go about your day, think about Mama once in a while. And don't ever forget, Mama loves you.